Guys, so welcome to another video. So today we're going to take a look at um, a program called Lossless Scaling. You may have already heard of it. You might have been thinking about buying it. Um, I mean, for five pounds, I'll tell you now, it's definitely worth it. Um, so, what I'm going to do in this video is just show you um, what my experience is of this program. Um, it's completely agenda-free. Um, I have nothing to do with the company or, or the developer or anything like that. Um, so this is just purely my personal opinion. Um, I've been playing around with it for about an hour, um, trying to work out exactly uh, how it all works and what the best settings are, especially for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, so I'm currently sat here in the A320 uh, fly-by-wire. Um, as you can see over here, I'm getting um, about 30 frames, sometimes a little bit less. Um, I do have additional scenery here at Manchester. Um, and I'm not sure if it, it's picked up very well on the recording, but it's a little bit stuttery. Um, you can definitely tell it's running around 30 frames or less. It's definitely usable in a flight sim, but as you can see there, it stutters and lags a band a little bit. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to ignore all the usual um, setting up the aircraft properly. I'm just going to taxi it out, take off, see how it performs without and then we'll come back here and then we'll start again with um, with lossless scaling enabled and I'll show you the difference. So let's just get the engine started, the lead is on, go for it, so completely ignore what we're supposed to do purely just to show what we can do in terms of frames. bane of any gamer's life. Um, frame rate, I'm sure you you were all um, wishing for more, but unfortunately we're all usually hampered by budget. Um, my graphics card is nothing special, I'm, I've got a um, MSI um, 3060 Ti, um, my gaming setup is nothing special at all, um, I'm currently uh, running resolution at 1440p. Okay, yeah, we need to turn the fuel on and stuff. Wondering why they weren't starting up then. Again, like I said, just completely ignore that we're not doing things how we're supposed to. So, this is without lossless scaling, and we're getting around 30 frames. As we taxi out, I expect to get a bit more, and as we climb up, um, we'll climb to something like a few thousand feet, and no doubt we'll definitely get a few more frames, maybe 45 frames. Okay, so we have two available engines. Um, I'm going to quickly push it back fly by wire. Be a little bit quicker. I remember where I'm positioned. Yeah, that's fine. you have used this program, lossless scaling, before, um, please do let me know in the comments what you what you think of it and what your settings are. Maybe you find a better solution than I have. Um, I will run through my settings. Okay, that'll do us here. This hurts not doing things properly, but purely just to show what we can do in terms of frames. Go away. I can break off. First stage flaps set. And thrust. As you can see, I've pulled away from the terminal now. I'm getting around 25 uh, frames per second. So it's actually gone down a little bit. It's anywhere between 25 and 30 frames. Take a little bit of a shortcut. Nearest runway. Get it in the air. 
see how many frames we get. And completely empty, very low on fuel. Nothing's configured, it's gonna gonna kick off, it's not gonna be happy. Okay, so we're still getting around 25 frames. We'll rotate there. Maybe it can go up. This is in um, Ultra at 1440p on a 3060 Ti. Uh, the only thing I've changed on the graphic settings are I've changed the I've changed the uh, motion blur. I've turned it off. I don't like that. Um, but everything else is uh, standard. Don't worry. Well, so still getting around 30 frames. We're 2,000 feet in the air. And it's usable. Um, this is how I normally have it. Um, not stuttering as such. It's just a little tiny bit laggy, I guess. Um, but it's more than useful for... Uh, flight sim. Definitely wouldn't play Call of Duty at <laughs> this sort of frame rate. So, just starting to creep over 30 frames. I'm pretty sure the higher we get, we'll just uh, we'll get a few more frames. But you get the picture now. We're back um, in the A320 at Manchester, and this time we've got um, lossless scaling enabled. So I'll just move the camera a little bit. You can see in the top left uh, actually, I don't know if it's displayed on the, um, on the record. I don't, I don't know if the um, recording software is picking that up. Um, but uh, I'll just tell you just in case it isn't. Um, so we're getting around 28, 29, 30 FPS, just like we were before. However, um, just next to it, it's saying it's given us around 80, 83, 84 FPS. Um, and if I just pan left and right, I'm not sure if you can tell on the recording, but it is definitely smoother. So you can definitely see there is definitely an injection of frames. Um, there is a slight bit of stutter um, every half a second or so. Um, I'm not noticing too much lag on the cursor. I've seen that in the comments that the cursor lags a little bit. There's a very, very tiny little bit of lag there, um, but nothing crazy. Um, if I move fast, that's pretty good. There's a slight bit of artifacting going on. Again, I'm not sure if that's being picked up by the recording software. But it definitely feels smoother. So, I'm just going to do the same again. Um, if the recording software hasn't picked any of this up, um, then I do apologise. Uh, I'll still include it in the video, um, but it'll just be um, I guess here, so you'll have to just go off what I'm saying. Um, so we're pretty much ready to go. I haven't done anything that we're supposed to do, but it's fine for this purpose. Let's head backwards. So right now it's saying there's a base rate of about 30 frames, and it's given us about 70. Um, it's definitely smoother. But there is some stutters, but it's nothing crazy. Let's see how it feels as we taxi along. First stage of flaps. Okay, don't worry. I know nothing's configured. Straight away, it feels buttery smooth, to be fair. Um, I'm not noticing any artifacts as we're moving along the taxiway here. Um, to be honest, it feels like I'm getting 60 plus frames, and it says it's given 75 at, at the moment. A um, couple of little stutters there, but I feel like I've got a new graphics card. So if that's anything to go by, I think it's um, 
I think it's worth the five pound eighty nine that it that they're asking for. Um, but we'll see what it's like going down the runway and then um, taking off. So there's no delay with any imports. There's a tiny bit of artifacting going on around the edge of the windows as we move left and right, but again, I'm not noticing anything absolutely crazy. So as we roll down the runway here, it says a base rate of about 24 frames and it's given about 60. 65. We'll rotate there. Aircraft is completely kicking off. Okay, so there was a few stutters and it's still stuttering a little bit. But now it's stopped. And again, it just feels absolutely buttery smooth. A base rate of 26 frames and it's given us 80 frames now. Need to pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm overspeeding the aircraft, it's not happy. 2500. Cool, so yeah, 100% is definitely smoother. Have a look outside. Very smooth. No more stutters than normal. Tiny bit of artifacting as we do that from the tail. But it's barely noticeable. For five pounds, I don't think you can get um, a better performance increase, um, especially compared to a graphics card. Um, so guys, I hope that's been useful to you. Um, apologies again if the recording software hasn't picked up any of this difference. Um, it might not, I'm not sure, I'm not quite sure how it all works. Um, but looking over at the preview to the left, it doesn't look like it's um, showing any difference over there. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'll show you the settings I've set up. Um, but definitely, I think if you've got five, six pounds to spare, go ahead, get it, try it, mess around with it. You might not use it you might use it um, I think for flight sim it's worth it and possibly a couple other titles um, it's definitely going to improve things I think okay guys here we are with the program a lot of scaling um, these are my settings that I used for Microsoft Flight Simulator um, be sure how, you, how it all works as well it's very very simple to be fair and um, so this is exactly how I used it I had scaling mode set to auto aspect ratio uh, I just left at that um, scaling type I had off because I wasn't scaling as such. I was just asking for a frame generation, um, which I set to 2.1. Um, I had the mode set to times three, so it gives you two more frames per frame. Um, I had performance off, which is better for um, weaker GPUs. Uh, so if you've got a, a much older GPU, it might be worth turning that on. Um, your mileage may vary, uh, depending on which GPU you have. Um, I had clip cursor on. Um, that's just to stop it from leaving the window, I believe. Um, and I had all these turned off, apart from draw FPS, which is it was showing, uh, as it says there, the number of captured and then how many it's uh, generating in terms of frames. Uh, moving on to a bit lower down here, got capture API. I had that to the XGI, um, GPU, and output display set to auto. Worked for me. I didn't. Property import um, behavior I had set to off, um, and then legacy I had window mode off and VRR support off. Um, it was simple as that. I didn't really change much to be honest, but this is how I had it. Um, settings, left them as they are, and um, how you use it, you simply hit scale, it'll count down five seconds. That gives you time to get to the, the, the program that you want to scale up. Um, so you just basically I just minimize this and go onto flight sim and the, the screen might flicker black for a second or so and then straight away you, you will notice the difference. I hope it works for you guys. Um it's definitely worked for me. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more, let's see if I can do a few more tweaks. Um but um I think I'll definitely be using it for the sake of six pounds. It's a bit of a no-brainer. Thank you for watching guys.